In this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about average rate of change. Um, and average rate of change is really just algebra and slope, so hopefully you know that. Uh, and slope can be calculated uh, by doing m, usually that's what we call slope, uh, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, but now we want to rewrite it with uh, function notation. So if you remember, uh, f of something is really just another way of saying the y-coordinate that goes with the x-coordinate. Uh, so what I can write is m is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1 over x2 minus x1. So really the same thing where f of x2 is the y-coordinate that goes with x2. So it's the same as what we have here. Um, and you just have to make sure they're on top of each other. Uh, so now what I want to do is really quickly just show you how you can use your calculator to uh, find these. So uh, what I'll do is I'm going to add a calculator page. And I'm going to define a function. So f of x, uh, remember you have to do colon equal, so control and then the templates button gets you that. Uh, let's say that we have uh, x squared plus 3x minus 5. Um, and then if I wanted the average rate of change on the interval from 1 to 6, so um, somehow there's a way that I could type that. Let me uh, insert a comment here. So I want average rate of change on uh, 1, so this is how it might be, look on paper if you were to write it, x, nope, and then uh, 6. Okay, so I want the average rate of change on the interval from 1 to 6. Uh, well, I, that's really just a slope, so what I want to do is f of, um, so uh, I guess x2 in this case would be 6, minus f of uh, x1, which would be 1, and then over 6 minus 1. Uh, and if you just make sure that these are in the, the same order, so 6 comes first here, 6 comes first here, and so on, uh, you're going to get it right. So if I press enter, uh, it gives me 10. So the average rate of change is 10 on the interval from 1 to 6. So that's the slope of a line that goes through the point um, where x is 1 and the point where x is 6 on this function. Doing it this way, you never even actually know what the y-coordinates are. So if I just do f of 6, uh, that tells me that I have an ordered pair 1, comma, uh, no, 6, comma 49. And if I do f of 1, uh, I get negative 1. So what I could have done is I could have done 49 minus negative 1 over 6 minus 1. And I get the same answer, but it's so much easier to use the function notation. Uh, so that's about it. I just wanted to show you uh, that you can do it on your calculator. Uh, this one worked out nicely because it was uh, a nice integer, so it was kind of perfect. But uh, if you get into things that have crazy decimals, you're going to end up rounding too much if you're not using the function notation. So definitely uh, learn to use this, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.